we go. Better lighting. Hello. I was recording in really dim light. Um, we're gonna go see Macklemore today, and um, he's performing at Climate Pledge Arena. So that's where we're going tonight. But before then, we want to go give the Seattle Christmas Market a little peruse, if you will. They made it after like an iconic Christmas market in like Germany, like all of the markets that go on. So um, basically that's the inspo behind it. And it is in the Seattle center. Lots of like food vendors, craft gift vendors. And I'm very excited to see what they've got there. So we're just getting ready for the day. It's like literally like almost 12. <laughs> It's like 11 30 right now we were up until three in the morning and then i actually woke up my body woke up on its own at like 9 40. so i guess it thought that six hours was fine um and i feel fine so i think walking and like getting out is going to be good for me and then we will walk to the show later we literally don't have to drive like it's literally a hop, skip, and a jump over. And then I want to go to the Metropolitan Market. It's my fave little grocery store, other than Whole Foods, obviously. Um, they have lots of good stuff, so we could probably get stuff for dinner just here, um, from like the salad bar or something, because we are not going to have time to like really go out, I don't think. I probably like don't even want to. Just want to keep it pretty chill with everything that's occurring tonight and like conserve our energy so that's kind of what my plan of attack was we're gonna go explore the christmas market walk around last night was just absolutely insane <laughs> did not expect any of that and I'm still super goofy and gag. It's so funny, as we were going into the meet and greet, the Taqueria Cantina owners were there. If you don't know, they hosted my bachelorette. They're incredible, uh, gay, Latino-owned company. Um, they actually just got vandalized at their second location, which is really awful. Um, but yeah, they were there seeing the queens. Um, half of the ownership, I should say, but. It was fun, I got to say hi to them. Oh my god, what a wild time. It was pouring down rain. I have my beautiful cake right here. We're about to taste test this cake, but oh my god. Just raining the entire time. Miserable. But and I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like it's Seattle. I just the past two years I've been here, it didn't rain. Um around Christmas. So anyway, we have the TV on right now. I'm gonna try to find something to watch I guess uh, but we're gonna try this cake it's a black forest cake it has cherry and oh the guy working the tent or whatever said it was like his favorite so I cannot wait um, that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna watch vlogmas and relax for a couple hours and then around four we're gonna go to the Metropolitan Market and pick up food for dinner and some snacks for later so we're not like super hungry and like wanting to order Taco Bell like last night um, we get back, but we need to go to the concert in four hours is when doors open. So probably in two hours, we will go get food and then in two more hours leave for the concert. But the Seattle Christmas market was 10 out of 10. You guys like the food was delicious. Um, I will say the cream puff that we had 
it was lovely, but it wasn't like our type of thing. Um, it was definitely not very sweet. It was kind of like flavorless. The sweetness came from the powdered sugar. So like the actual filling was not sweet. That was the one thing that I probably wouldn't get again. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it, but the raclette cheese, incredible, 20 out of everything. Um, it was incredible. Um, so we got the traditional one that has like the cornichon, like pickles, and then a Dijon mustard. Oh, like salivating just like thinking about it again. It was so freaking good. So you have to do that one. And then we got a pretzel, which I will show you in a second here. Um, the pretzel was really good. It's very soft. Like it wasn't like hard, like you had to like bite into it. And then the freaking potato tornado. It's a BC, like British Columbia based brand. And holy cow, was it good. We did the sour cream and onion. Just chef's kissed everything. And then we picked up this beautiful baby cake here. Um, I think we left something that we purchased. I feel so bad, but I think we left it on like the steps. So I hope someone either like finds it and takes it and it goes to a good home or that someone finds it and brings it back to the person who is defending it. Um, so I don't think we're gonna hear from him, but if we do whatever, I'm just not gonna go back out. It was like a $20 thing, it wasn't worth it. So unfortunately, that was a huge bummer. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. It is even better than I thought. It is so freaking good. All right, folks, we just woke up from a nap, slept for about an hour and a half, and now we're gonna go and get some stuff at the market. I wanted to be a little bit more rested before our big night of hollering. Um, I just caught up with an Instagram friend who did go to the concert last night um, for Macklemore and she said it was great and that there's a good mix, like lots of old songs and new songs, which I'm very excited for. So I'll be singing every single one. And then um, she also said merch sells out fast. So you want to get there early um, and just gave me a whole bunch of tips. So it was very nice of her. And I'm feeling very prepped, very excited, but we have an hour until we need to walk over there. So we're gonna get some goodies, come here, have a little bite, and then hit the road. Merry and bright, the best place on earth. We went to Metropolitan Market. This is my salad. I really just do a little bit of everything. I did like the tofu. I always do hard boiled eggs. I got the, uh, what do you call it? Like the eggplant salad thingy it has a name and then I just loaded it with like veggies and the garlic pasta so good it's just like the salad area and then we're gonna try these liquid death thingies Jared has convicted melon I have mango chainsaw and we're gonna see I also got some soup we have to eat before the concert okay it sounds like a sparkling water right is it good you might like the mango more. You're not a melon. I think it's watermelon. It's like the melon was sitting in the water and that's what you're drinking. Wow. That's really refreshing. It's refreshing though. Yeah. Oh. It almost tastes like a candy. Like the aftertaste. Holy shit. Yeah. You probably like that one better. Oh. It's got it's got some sugars in it, that's why. Jared got a nice, like, hot Asian bowl thing, right? Yeah, so they're a market uh, buffet. It's like Whole Foods. But, yeah. Um, I kind of prefer they have, it. They have, like, a Thai sesame Asian noodle, um, Asian meatballs, orange chicken, and then other stuff like, mm. like the uh, Americanized. Yeah. Food. They have like a French, like a steak fry, and then oh. a ravioli and some other stuff. I was like, nah. Yeah. Even when the whole world's out. This is my moment. Kill me. 
Hi friends, we are home. I took my makeup off, put my skincare on, and I had my honorary, what do you call that? What's the right word? I've lost all words. Um, inaugural? Whatever. Routine. Snack. Post-concert snack. A vat of watermelon. I don't know why. You tell me. Um, I think it was the first time my mom and I saw Paul McCartney years ago. And it must have been from Metropolitan Market. I got one of those cut up fruit boxes with watermelon. And it is so invigorating. It just brings you right back to life after a concert. Kind of lost your voice a little bit, you know. It's just great. Um, I also got a fresh pressed orange juice. It's supposed to be tangerine, but that's okay. Um, I think it just got mixed up. And then we also got hummus. This, like, Lebanese hummus. And some little pita chips and pretzels. An incredible concert, y'all. It was iconic as usual, and I was just so blown away. Every last bit of it was iconic. So, I hope you enjoyed coming along today for the Christmas market and for Macklemore. We had such an amazing couple days, and I can't believe, like, it feels, like, I feel guilty for, like, celebrating Christmas. Because, like, I feel like this was our Christmas. So, we have Christmas, we've got Christmas Eve, we've got New Year's Eve, and we've got plans for all of them. So I cannot wait to take you along. And we have one more half day in Seattle. We're gonna go get some good eats and probably not check out here until noon. Check out is at noon. So we're gonna have a cozy day. So I will see you tomorrow for the next vlogmas. Bye.